Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel today. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm, I'm nervous this weekend. I, I am going to be attending the plant swap here in Vilnius and today is going to be the second episode of me preparing for the plant swap. I have a video number one like episode number one over here. In this video I shared uh, like the plans that I'm going to be taking, the reasonings behind why and how I took the cuttings together with you guys and you know all of that. So if you want to go ahead and watch it before watching this like like episode number two. Take your time, we'll wait. It's a pretty long video, guys, so take a coffee or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, jokes aside. As you can tell, I'm in a pretty good mood, to be honest, because I'm excited. I always love to go to plant swaps, but at the same time, I'm, I have this anxiety because... Ev Baloo, stop! No! No! So I have this anxiety because every single year I feel like I have not a cool variety to take with myself to the swap and i feel like people will come you know with the coolest and the most epic plants ever and i will be that you know like silly goose standing in the corner with my you know lame plants <laughs> i'm very lonely <laughs> but you know what let's let's not get that silly minds into our head i actually feel like this year i'm gonna have a pretty cool variety i'm not taking a lot of plants i actually from the previous video added one more plant into the swap like package parcel so i think this should be fun i mean every single year i go with like not so many plants but come back with way too many so <laughs> who knows what will happen this sunday but i bet it will be so much fun once again i'm gonna film everything every stand i will show all of the plants people will bring i mean maybe some of you will come and join and chat with me and i film you and show you to the world because you're beautiful guys people plant people are so cute and beautiful so you know you know anyway let's stop mumbling and let's get into the plant business so i have my handy notebook over here oh my gosh my snake is dead you see jacqueline i have snakes too you see pretty cool anyway uh so uh okay let's start from the beginning i have this euphorbia seedlings in this vodka bottle right and to be honest this is the place where this is the part of the video well, where i want to ask for you for the advice so i have like 20 seeds of this cool cool euphorbia leoconera that you can see over here can you over here so the idea is to bring the seeds take a couple pictures of my euphorbias and show to the people what the heck what plant will grow out of the seeds you know and at the same time i'm not sure how to like pack them and where to how to show them off for the people because i feel like this will catch an eye of course but if somebody will want a couple seats where do i put them i mean do do i need to buy those tiny bags that you know narcos are using for the coke <laughs> or something i mean i have no idea i have i don't even have idea where to buy them to be honest so any handy handy tips please leave them in the comments below because i would be really grateful i don't want just to give couple seats like so to the person and say it's yours from there it's your problem <laughs> you know i, I want to make it a little bit more comfortable for people anyway so i will be taking the euphorbia seats where do i put them where guys where next next i have this philodendron micans once again i won't go too too much into the details i already did in my previous video so i will bring it as it is it actually burned in the sun it, here in the morning we receive like a pretty nice sunlight right now for like three to four hours and it seems like it's too much for micans morning sun like you are such a weak boy i'm so disappointed i hope somebody will take you Ugh. out of my face anyway right so we have micans out of the way next one is philodendron vercosum okay these ones are fun i feel like these are like one of the coolest plants i'll be bringing to this swap because they're so cute they're so tiny and adorbation so so adorbation let me show you here in the corner you can see tiny leaves oh my gosh look at those veins so cute you also can see the mama plant that i cut these cuttings from as you can tell the leaf looks pretty cool pretty cool oh my gosh space is not something we have a lot in this on this channel it's okay all right so i will be planting them into simple nursery pots 
so they will be ready to go to the new home. I prepared a very simple mix of cact like 80% of cactus soil, 15% of orchid barks and like 5% of perlite. This should be like, in my opinion, this should be perfect as, you know, like a stop in between, you know, the home and the mix that the owner, new owner will be using, right? Okay, so I decided I'm going to be taking two philodendrons very awesome, two cuttings. And I want to take like the largest ones, the coolest ones, so let's do that. Oh, the root is so small. I'm actually a little bit anxious to pot them up. But at the same time, I will still be keeping them in pro box, so I feel like they should be okay. Look at this baby, so adorable. So adorable. And of course, while swapping it with people, I will warn them that this is a tricky plant, guys. That it needs constant moisture in the air. It hates to dry out. Somebody actually left a comment that they do not like a lot of sunlight. Well, mine stands here as well, as you can tell, right? And once again, it receives about four hours of morning sunlight, which is not crazy intense. So it's happy in here. So I believe they like sunlight, but not, you know, like that, like midday sunlight that just, you know, fries the heck out of you. So just little like point for you guys anyway okay so plant number one wait wait for it i will also plant another one and then we'll put a label on the pot okay another one beam shabim beam shabim okay you know what i feel like i have this like dilemma because i actually kept this uh, dish of my propagation in my balcony and this is where they receive like the craziest amount of sunlight and i feel like this largest leaf burned a bit because it looks like the edges looks a bit crispy so of course i don't want to take plant like so into the swap it, it's not like in his best shape so i will keep this one for myself oh yep this is very dry edges so i'll keep this one for myself we'll figure it out later on and we'll bring to this oh this one has way better roots and a smaller leaf i mean i see where was your priorities baby i like it look at this decent decent if you watch trailer for boys you know decent De -he -he -set. cute cute oh my gosh um the pyrolite is falling everywhere so i'm planting this baby up Oh, I hope you find a nice new home. I feel like, you know, uh, letting my kids into the school or something, like, out into the world. Guys, you're going to be fine. The world is, like, okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. You're gonna be okay. There are so many nice, plenty people who will take care of you, hopefully. Right? Right? Whoever takes them, please take good care of them. Okay. Baby number two. So, right now, I wanna... Or do I want... Okay, I'll put labels later on on all of them all together. So, bam, philodendron verocosums are ready. About the variety I cutting, so I want to take them as is. Since they do not seem to be like rooting, and even though they were standing in this water in my prop box next to my Hoya Callistophyla, Hoya Matilde, this one seems to not be too happy. For some reason in that box you know what i do not want to do anything about it just have it in the water and whoever wants to swap for it i will just say as this this these are fresh cuttings i took them about two weeks ago don't see any growth yet do you want it <laughs> do you want it <laughs> okay so i'll put them aside as well so because i'm 100 percent sure something will fall today hopefully nothing okay so from this prop box we did everything we wanted to and I have more cuttings in here that I have no clue what they are. All right, then we have... Okay, we're custom done. Syngoniums, elbows. Bam, we have another pro box. Okay, we have another pro box over here, but I also have something else. So, D Manon, the lady that ordered two pots from me said, can you please show them in the videos? And I showed in my previous video not the previous but the previous before previous video i showed one of her pots and i just finished the other one look at it look at it so this is a puppy and a baby so cute this is actually the first baby i have ever painted how do you feel about it 
I'm nervous. Anyway, so cute, right? Thank you so much for your custom pot orders. At this point, I finally feel like I already found the perfect routine, which I am so grateful for. So, so on Mondays, I go to office and work my eight to five, right? And I come back too tired and do nothing. On Tuesdays, I paint your custom pots. Like, you know, I mean, I work, still work from eight to five, but in the evenings, I paint your orders. On Wednesdays, on my lunch break, I film videos. On after my work, I edit them and upload them. On Thursdays, I paint their pots. On Fridays, I go back to my office to work. And on weekends, whatever happens. Like, nobody knows what happens on weekends. But most likely, I film more videos for you guys. So, it's a busy routine. <laughs> oh, let me insert another shameless plug. This one is, just, I mean, this one is for my mom. So, you know, we just gotta do it. We just gotta do it. So, this weekend I was uh, visiting my mom because it was mom's day. By the way, thank you for all of the sweet wishes in the comments. She's working so hard right now. And, you know, it's not the easiest period, especially at work. She feels so uninspired lately. And I feel like this is not the right thing to do or to be because she's so talented. I mean, look at these things she is knitting. She's such a sweet knitter. Like, look at this. She loves to do stuff for babies. Look at that. Look at that. This is completely handmade, hand knitted. So soft. Oh my gosh. I said, can I put it on Baloo? And she said that I'm crazy. <laughs> Look at this. And there's another one, the blue one. I mean, here is a shameless plug for those who are maybe looking for some baby stuff that are knitted and soft and made with so much love and passion. She is such a passionate knitter and she loves to knit stuff for babies, but I do not give her any babies, so she's mad about it. <laughs> so maybe somebody want to buy some, you know, because I am shipping my pots out into the world, you know, to States, to Canada, to Australia, to Europe all over the world i haven't sent any to africa to be honest this is like the only continent and to south america so yeah two continents still haven't been visited by my pots she sells them for so so cheap me and my fiance always say you say you are crazy you need to get paid for so so more because she spends hours on this stuff and yeah Maybe someone needs something for the babies she would be happy to sell i mean i did this wait I did another shameless plug about a couple months ago and she received orders from Germany and she was so stoked. She felt like a flipping queen doing these orders. And right now this lady from Germany is like her constant uh, client and always orders more and more from her because she loves all of her stuff. So just putting it out there, maybe somebody have babies <laughs> because they don't. Anyway, back to the swap. So I have this another pro box this one is way crazier this one have way more crazier plants okay so i want to take from here a couple syngonium elbow cuttings i also have syngonium orias but you know what i'm not feeling like maybe i mean maybe i should maybe i should maybe i should or should i or maybe sh you know that feeling when you want to share a, a new for example you want to go to the swap and bring the coolest plants ever home but at the same time you don't want to get get rid of your cool plants this is a very dif difficult situation <laughs> okay let me take out a couple syngoniums elbow good things oh yeah this one not only have a decent root already on it this one is also having a leaf show adorabation so we'll put you aside all right another elbow oh this one also have a nice root and also a new growth point do we see it do we see it you're so far away i do not see you guys okay and last but not least, should we take one Oreo? Should we? Should we? No. No, we shouldn't. Am I a bad person? You know what? I think I will need more pots. Good dang it. Okay. So let's pot these beautiful syngoniums. You look. Oh, look at that. Cute. 
cute. So adorable. Okay. Right, so what was I saying before that? Oh my gosh. Brain heart. Cutting number one, cute, already with new top, so awesome, bam, another one, Whew. fun fact, Syngonium's elbows are actually faster growers than the Syngonium's Oreos, which I did not thought is a thing, but in my personal experience, I have both of these syngoniums propagating next to each other in the very same box. And the Oreos pushed out new growth way, way quicker than the Oreos. I mean, I'm not sure if any of my Oreos have any new growth tops or not. So, fun fact. Okay. Syngonium number two, play dead. So cute. I actually picked up the ones that have like the sweetest new growth points. So they are looking more promising and cute, right? Okay. Put you over here. Then, then I have, okay, back to my handy book. Whoop. Syngonium's elbow. That. Then we have Maranta Lightweights. So I have these cuttings in this glass dish. And to be honest, I want to plant them separately. So each to have the separate pot, right? So I'm gonna plant one right, maybe this one will, no. Plant one right now. <sighs> that, that was scary. I actually can see both of them are working on new leaves. I mean, the root systems are not too crazy, but these are such an easy plants to grow and propagate, so I'm not too scared about it. Plant number one. Cute, look at this cute Maranta line veins. So adorable. They are so adorable. Please stay. Please don't fall. Okay. Let me put you over here and let me go and grab a little bit more soil and one more pot. Yes. Yes. Okay. I am back. So I have small see-through pot. I actually did not want to bring my see-through pots because I do not have many of them. But you know what? This person is gonna be a lucky baby. Wait. This looks cute. Oh my gosh. Wait, I think we probably should swap the cuttings because this one have smaller leaves, this one have bigger leaves. So, bigger pot for bigger leaves. If you get the wipe. Right? Does it make sense? I think this does... I think it makes so much sense. You have no idea, guys. So much sense. This is so smart. Bam. Shabam. This is gonna be so cute. So, so cute. Okay. Look at this. Baby, baby. Maranta light winds. How my stand is looking so far. I think it's pretty nice. I'm actually pretty proud of it. And guys, okay, do you see it? Do you see this like mama plant of light veins, right? Do you see those new leaves with those crazy black margins? Do you see it? Because let me know if you don't, if you don't. And in the comments in the next video, I'll show it up close. They look insane. Oh, by the way, they reminds me of Peacocks. Oh, take me a while. Peacock feathers. And fun fact, I was watching one YouTuber uh, and he had a vacation in Florida and he was like sharing uh, that peacocks are like invasive species out there in Florida. Let me know if somebody from Florida are watching my videos and maybe you know if it's true or not because for me this sounds like fairy tale maybe <laughs> how they can be invasive species they're so awesome it looks they definitely look like paradise birds so i mean if they would be invasive as they as the crows and uh 
Oh my gosh, what is the word? I'm not sure how to call these birds that are the city birds, like the doves, but I know that doves are like, you know, the peace birds, those beautiful white birds, but the very same like peace, but the ones that are gray and the city. If instead of those doves and crows, we had peacocks, it would feel like we're walking next to like Adam and Eve's trees and like, this is crazy. Is it true guys? Do you have so many peacocks? This is crazy. This is like, what? You're living a dream. Like just peacocks running around. How, how is it real life? I, I, I mean, this is just like insane for me. Like, wow, world is like, whoa, right? Okay. We're on the light veins number two. Adorable. Okay, and then last but not least, I have this, yes, last but not least, yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. The last one is my Philodendron Brandiatum. This is the baby out here. This one is also from Urar, but you know what? I'm struggling so much with this plant and I know so many more people are struggling. Actually, while taking it out of the shelf, I broke off cuttings like this was a complete accident but i guess this was a sign that yep i made the right choice or maybe the opposite i'm not sure i'm really i'm really bad at reading signs so <laughs> so the plan is actually to take some cuttings for myself to bring to put them in my prop boxes and to give like the mama plant to somebody else with those beautiful large leaves that we have over here i mean look at those I think they definitely will invite somebody in, you know, to just give it a chance and grow it because in my home it's just not happy. So, you know, I think it's time to say goodbye. I will still keep cuttings for myself to experiment more. I did not bring the scissors. So, of course, I'll keep cuttings for myself and still give it a go. I do not want to give up. But at the same time, I want to give those beautiful large leaves for somebody else and maybe they will thrive and grow beautiful leaves, you know. And this plant itself will be way happier because in here he's struggling. I cannot watch him struggle that much. I want him to be happy because I know he deserves it. I mean, look at this cute. So, let me go grab scissors and also wet wipe to clean all of the leaves together with you guys. I'll be back again. Oh my gosh. I'm back, guys. Don't worry. I'm back. Ta-da! Wait, did they have scissors? <laughs> okay. Brain. What the heck is going on with my brain, guys? Okay, so let's start probably from taking the cuttings, putting them into my bra box, and then I want to report it because I have this brandiatum in a very sweet seed report that I think is also from Urash. I might be lying. Maybe I bought it myself, but this is very cool shaped pot and I want to keep it to myself. So, I mean, look at that. The root is peeking out. So, I want to put it in this brown pot. And this one keep to my shelf. Okay, so. Mm. Okay. Oh my gosh, Baloo, leave. Thank you, thank you, baby. Thank you for your help very much. Okay, so I'm gonna keep these cuttings. Here are, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten notes. I think it's more than enough to experiment with white sticks and who knows, maybe these will be more successful for me. So I'll put them in my pro boxes, like cut them in each pieces in singular notes and put them in my pro box. And right now I want to take out this baby and repot it. So I had the sphagnum moss on top to keep it more moist, but you know what? I'm just not keeping up with the watering, just like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I have a pretty busy busy very busy schedule so this is just one of those plans that like dude i have i do not have that much time okay take this out let's see what we're dealing with okay wait don't want to rip, to rip the root okay we got it Let's get rid of that old soil. I honestly don't remember how many cuttings I have in here because I know I planted more babies in here after pruning and propagating it once again. So let's see. Maybe I'll keep more for myself. Oh yeah, I have actually... Ha I actually have more than I expected. <laughs> okay, we have cutting number one. 
I think number two doesn't look too hot, right? Let's put them in here. Cutting number three. I think these are the ones that I took the cuttings off. Finally, they are kind of alive. <laughs> Cutting number four. You know what? I will keep these cuttings for myself as well. Yes, yes. And then I have these two large babies. Cutting number one and cutting number two. These are the ones, these are like the original cuttings with original leaves from Urosh. Honestly, Brandiatums, I feel like they have the name for them already. Like being the toughest, one of the toughest philodendrons ever. I'm actually not sure why I'm keeping so many cuttings for myself to struggle once again, but you know what? I like the pain. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Nice, beautiful root system. Okay, I just want to talk about something. So, uh, in some of my previous videos, I mentioned that I was bitten by a dog and that my hand was swollen and, you know, the wound wasn't looking too best. I was feeling, wasn't feeling too best. And people won't stop commenting on that video to go and see a doctor. And I also receive personal messages. Go see a doctor. And I appreciate your worries, guys. I really do. But it's kind of getting out of hand, so I just want to say, I was at the doctor, here is the footage proof, so you won't think that I'm lying, because I'm not, I was there, everything is fine, as you can tell, I no longer have anything, like, I'm not hiding my wound anymore, because it's not looking bad, it's been like three or, it's about a month since this dog bit me, and we're fine, everything is fine, guys, so please, don't worry, and please let's better talk about plants or something, because I want to forget this incident and, you know, move on. Okay, bam, we have this one planted as well. Look at this, this should be such an inviting pot. I, I mean, technically I could separate them and pot as two separate brandy atoms. You know what, maybe we should do that. taking all of those labels off you know what yeah we're gonna do that let's remake this again let's go take another pot oh all right guys so we have a situation <laughs> so after this weekend when i cleaned the heck out of my balcony i actually threw out a lot of nursery pots and right now already i am like feeling the Okay, let, let, let go of this idea. So, long story short, I don't have many small plastic pots, so I want to put it in this black pot, but for that I need to put this adenium into this... Sh ah, damn it! Into this small terracotta pot. And then you get, you get everything, right? You smart people, you are such smart people out there. Okay, so I want to pot up this adenium. This one is actually... The one that I took from the swap last year as well. It's not thriving. Uh, during the winter it was actually uh, standing far away from the light source. So it's not feeling too hot, but I think it should bounce back right now as it's summer. And I'll put it in my balcony and it's gonna be happy. Beautiful plant. Okay. Okay. That was easy. This is the plant that I won't be taking to the swap. This one is for Michelle. Adorable. Let's put you out of my room. Let's take this one out and do it all over again. Oh my gosh, you have such long roots. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Okay, I wanna... Okay. Oh, okay, I did not talk about this part. Of course. Of course I didn't. Yes! Haha! -ha. Okay. So I'll put this bigger one into a bigger pot, of course. And the smaller one will go into a smaller pot. Huh? Looks cute. 
so I think this was a genius idea to separate them and have like more plants in the swap. Oh, I'm excited. So excited. I'm so smart. Sometimes I surprise myself with this brain. Okay. Bam. So cute. Ooh. No, leave the baby. Leave the baby. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, cute. All right. And here is the last pot of beautiful brontiato. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm excited. Okay, so right now let's put aside all of this stuff that we don't need anymore. Alright, so right now the last thing left to do is to wipe the leaves, put on the labels and be ready to go. So I actually will need more labels because some plants as Maranta or this Philodendron Brantiatum I thought I will bring as one but then I separated them. So for those I will put on labels later on. But just know that all of them will be labeled, so it will be, you know, simple for people that are a little bit newer. I mean, for me personally, I don't need the labels. I will see it from the college. But for those who are a little bit newer to this hobby, to see and understand better what the heck they're looking at, you know? <laughs> I know this was really helpful for me when I started, so... Just want to wipe off those leaves so they look nice. And clean. Yeah, should do it. Of course, since most of these plants were propagating in uh, my pearlite boxes, I will water them because right now they kind of in shock after being taken away, taken away from the water source. So I need to moisten this soil. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so excited! Just can't hide it. Come on, 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 come on. Are you excited for the swap footage? I'm gonna be attending it this Sunday at 11.30 is the beginning. So most likely the footage from the swap itself you will see in, on the next week already. So it should be so much fun. It's always so much fun. Oh, cannot wait, cannot wait. Bam, look at this. Oh, brand new, gorgeous, so gorgeous. Oh, immediately looks way better. Bam, baby number three. All right, since we cleaned the leaves, the last thing left to do is to prepare them. So I have labels just simply written and ready to go. Right, so I wanna duct tape them onto the pots. Like so, right? It's under the tape. Which one is this? Light veins. And I wanna put it so people can see what the heck is that. Like that. Bam, around the light veins over here. Cute, cute, okay. Have one way more to go. Actually, I also am curious if I know I have a lot of subscribers from all over the world, right? So, from different countries and continents. But I am curious if any of you are aware of this like song contest called Eurovision. It's like the Europe thing. A couple years ago, the Australia also started to participate in this contest and it's actually so much fun so i'm curious how many people are knowing about this from other continents you know from other i wanted to say from other worlds <laughs> because this is such a cool like pretty special thing in here in europe it's actually happening this month already as well so that's why i'm asking there's actually a movie about eurovision with will ferrell so uh real, really fun movie as well anyway Look at it. Ready to go. Damn, this is so easy. Okay, so right now let's put on some kind of music probably and speed through this because I have 
a bunch of labels, to be honest. So I have to make two more labels for Maranta Light Veins and Philodendron Brandiatum and then everything is all ready to go. I just remember I did not wipe the leaves off my micans. But this is about it. So I think I might be taking some kind of beautiful piece of material to put on my table, you know, to bring the attention, to bring the eye to my like stand. But I'm not sure about it yet. I did it last year and it looked pretty cool and clean. So. I might do that again, but all in all, this this is all of my propagations. Actually, fun fact, I bought eight plants, uh, eight seedlings from one lady that is actually uh, the one who is making this swap possible. So she's like the like the boss of the swap, should I say it? And I bought it from her, so I'm all, actually already know that I will come back home with more new plants that I will be taking too. So. So, so excited. Of course, I'll take more, I'll also take more money just in case if, if I will see anything that I want and I won't be having anything that this person would like to swap to. So, you know, I still would have chances to take it home. But yeah, all in all, this is it. My sister might join me in the swap just like she did last year and the year before that. So stay tuned for that video. Please let me know about the variety. What do you think about the variety of plants I'll be taking? Which one you would like to swap? with me um i don't know any tips tricks everything is welcome thank you so much for watching please like this video if you enjoyed it of course subscribe for more plenty content for more swap content so you won't miss any and before leaving you of course let me teach you another language lesson okay random i have this lego snack the snake this is actually a snake from harry potter so let me teach you how to say snake in Lithuania and russian if you want to say snake in Lithuanian, you need to say givate. Once again, givate. Fun fact, we use it as a curse word. Oh, you snake, givate. You know? Anyway, and if you want to say snake in Russian, you need to say zmiya. Once again, zmiya. Very different. <laughs> really different. But anywho, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye.